Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I thought I'd just do a quick video of um, just some stuff I'm working on. I wanted to uh, finish up the lines uh, around Mickey Mouse's eyes. I work on several different pieces at different times throughout the day. Um, I have so much going on. Um, I don't always have time to finish something all at once and also because um, I use oil paints it takes longer for them to dry because um, especially when it's when you're working in uh, colder temperatures it takes a lot longer I like working when it's in the summertime because I can literally just take my paintings outside, lay them in the sun, and then uh, they dry pretty quickly. Where that, if you uh, keep them indoors, they, uh, I'm not sure I want to do that as dark. Uh, when you keep them indoors, they take, I don't know, I don't put like really thick coats of paint on, so I would say that it would take about three to five days, to, depending on how thick the paint is. Um, but if you really should always wait, you know, probably a week if you're ever going to ship them, if you're doing it a light amount. I've, uh, I've had some deadlines where I was so close, I had to do the oil paintings and then put them in my bathroom, close the door, and then get a portable heater and have it pointing directly at the painting and try to dry it overnight. Um, I love working in oil paints. Occasionally I catch myself um, not remembering where I've already painted and then I ended up putting my hand in what was still wet because I don't always remember uh, I kind of rush things unfortunately too much and then I forget that I just had worked on an area and then put my hand down and then make a mess um, which is no good I think I'll I don't want this to stand out as much on the inside so I think I'll just go with uh, brown more of a brown on this inside one and I don't know why, but all the times that I've done part versions of the characters, I was always told not to do them because they don't sell, which I found odd because personally, um, I think that's still too much. I don't think I'm gonna fix that afterwards. Um, I've always enjoyed the costumes. I, I uh, trying to actually create one for myself in 3D just so I can have it for my future man cave I'd like to have. Um, I'd like to have the costume. But I absolutely love painting. It's, it's basically what keeps me sane. Um, with my, I have a very painful connective tissue disorder. Um, that makes anything I do painful. Um, I can't shake people's hands. Um, I can't walk on the floor without socks on all the time. And they're usually heavy socks that I wear um, because I'll injure myself or hurt my, my feet, dislocate my toes. Um, so it's just wonderful, especially as you already know, as you get older, your body starts to fall apart. Well, unfortunately, mine started when I was a lot younger. Um, I was actually born born with a hole in my heart, and I had that surgery, um, open a heart surgery when I was three. Um, they couldn't do it sooner because I was sick with pneumonia all the time. So, um, kind of went through life not being able to do as much, but. If I would have known 
what was in store for me later in life, I uh, definitely would have done more with my life. So if, in a, if I could pass on one thing to people, it would be um, enjoy your life while you can. Do, do things when you're young. Um, you never know what your next day is going to bring you. So, um, but I think that looks pretty decent. I don't know if I like, I think I should have probably grayed the one out with the eyeball. Uh, let's, if you want to, I just use a paper plate and put all my paints on the paper plate and I just mix them on here. Um, I just don't, I don't have the time and I don't feel like dealing with you know, cleaning a, a standard palette. I have some, uh, I actually have some custom ones um, that were made for me, but I just find it easier just to grab a plate. And I, most of the time, all the paint that I use on it, I don't really need it any other, you know, I can always put the same amount of colors back on it. Um, the next day, but most of the stuff I, I usually do is drawing people, um, which I just use standard colors uh, to do that. I actually use, uh, I mean, it sounds kind of goofy and I'm sure a lot of people don't do it, but I just, for flesh colors or stuff like um, Mickey skin and stuff, I actually just use um, a, so-called flesh paint and now it's just called portrait paint i think this company changed its name to and uh because obviously not everyone has the same skin tone but uh i just find it easy to just jump to that and then all i have to do is either add whites to uh fix the amount um of of tones i need by just adding you know, reds or browns or blacks um, to make it a little bit darker. Um, but, um, you know, whatever works for, for you. Um, I know a lot of people are afraid to use oil paints and just assume, you know, they're stinky and everything, but I've kind of, I don't really notice them as much. I don't use huge quantities of it, so it doesn't have a really strong smell. And you you don't need um, paint thinners to clean your brushes. You can actually just use Dawn Dish Detergent, which is what I'll show in another video. Um, I thought I would do it sometime. Um, just explaining uh, how I clean my brushes and stuff without having to use harsh chemicals because I, I stopped I used to do oil paints when I was younger, but I stopped because um, my room was in the basement and I would get horrible headaches because the ventilation was horrible. So, um, but I'm really pleased with this. I originally thought I was gonna trash this picture because um, I didn't like the way um, part of it was coming out. And um, Although it wasn't this picture recently had some issues because we got new kittens and my kitten decided to jump up on my uh, drawing table and walk across several paintings I had been working on. And so I had nice little feet print all over the paintings. So I had to fix them of them. Uh, this one actually had a paw print on it, I believe. Um, but I fixed that. Luckily, with the oil paints, another reason I like oil paints is it's just easy cleanup. If you get the oil paint somewhere you don't want it, all you have to do is use linseed oil and wipe it right off. But um, I think that's probably it for now on this one. Um, I'm hoping to have start doing some more videos for you on how to's it's just time consuming to set up a camera as much as I would like and uh, work on these but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I will uh,
try to post some more shortly. Um, I really enjoy doing these types of things and sharing with you. So if you could, please subscribe if you don't already, and I will talk to you again soon.